Hey guys, uh, I want uh, I've mentioned the U-shaped craton of North America that runs basically from up in here down through in a U-shape, dips down toward Dallas, El Paso, and then back up and around uh, up into Canada. And here, what I've got this set at is zero magnitude or above. And I'm going to bring this down to the last seven days, or basically about the last eight, nine days, uh, hour-wise. But uh, down here to the last setting. And then we're going to look over here on the map, and we're going to zoom it in. It's going to take a minute. It's going to be slow because there's just a lot of numbers. Hold on. Let me get this working here. And this isn't a slow computer. Uh, Father has blessed me with a very fast computer, so it's just, just the sheer number of activity that makes it slow because it's showing all the negatives and 0.0s and 1.0s and so forth. But here you can see it, guys. Starting in Canada, it comes down in through here, over and dips down through Texas, down all the way down to El Paso, and then back up in through here. Okay, you can clearly see it. Now, let's give you another uh, actual shot of what the craton looks like. Here's a picture of it, and as you can see, that uh, this is the North American craton. This right here, that's in the brownish, tannish color here, and it comes down through Canada along where the uh, six, uh, that 5.6 was, and then all the way down, dips down, kind of, kind of a big, huge, massive U shape, and it goes right on down through here, cuts across Oklahoma, down through Dallas, and on over to El Paso, back up. And that's the plate line. There's also the pink here, which is another area of, of significant activity as we look at the map. And then there's, of course, uh, right along the coastline that runs all the way down through South America. Um, the San Andreas Fault, which runs all the way along this coastline, is ex is very active. It's been active here for the last, uh, you know, eight nine years. Uh, but all the activity has spread past California into Nevada, uh, Utah, Colorado, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, uh, you know, the whole area. This entire area has become active. And also, it has spread all the way down into the North American Craton at this point. And so, uh, what I'm trying to do is to show you what I keep talking about. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the, the North American Craton, is, is, as it says here, continental crust that has remained relatively stable for the past 600 million years. That's a long time, guys. Uh, you know, I, whether or not that's true, who knows? It's purely hearsay. I didn't do the research. You didn't do the research. And even if you did do the research, again, it's it's purely hearsay. It's all theory, and, and there's no way to truly and genuinely know. However, as you look at this this shape here and where it goes from Canada all the way down through uh, Virginia's and into the southern states and over through Oklahoma City and down through Dallas and up and around, down and around uh, at the El Paso area and then swinging up through uh, Mexico and Colorado and all the way through and back up here. Now let's go back to the uh, Earthquake 3D one more time. And so here we are on Earthquake 3D and as you can see starting in Canada right on through here right through the Virginias and over it cuts across comes through here, dips down to Dallas. There's nothing going on in Dallas at this point in the last eight to nine days here, up here on the counter. Uh, but go a little bit past, you'll have minor earthquake 1.0s, 2.0s, so forth. And uh, all the way over through El Paso and then into uh, the other states. Now, there's not really, let's take the rings off. There's really no activity going on right here, which is where it, it comes out of El Paso and cuts right on through here. But then you get that gap there and then you have more activity up in here and then this was the pink area right here and then of course you got the San Andreas which runs all the way down where all the earthquakes are happening okay hopefully that will help you guys to understand the, the uh, North American Craton a little bit better and exactly why these earthquakes are, are triggering in those specific places over and over and over again and growing in magnitude as, as time uh, moves forward uh, just as the scripture talks about spreading throughout the entire planet. Also, I want to go ahead and put the rings back on, and we'll just take a look at everything. Scroll on out here. Again, please forgive me. It's slow. There's a lot of numbers. Uh, again, only in the U.S. will it show a negative magnitude earthquake, the zeros, the ones, twos, threes, and fours. 
okay everywhere else on the planet is only going to show anywhere from 4.1 to 4.6 and above depending on whether or not it was reported that's just the way USGS does it it's the way they've always done it and it's, it's really not changed so it'll probably remain that way for a long time to come so just with with the zeros and the ones and the negatives and all that stuff on the board this is this is what you're looking at and we'll just tip it down for you so you can see all the numbers so a lot of activity, a lot of movement, uh, a lot more than what would uh, you would normally have. Okay, and, and that's again, it would show all these numbers all the way around the planet because that's literally happening around the planet at this point. But it only USGS only reports them uh, 4.6 and below in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Alaska, any U.S. Uh, area. Okay. Now as we scroll. At, first of all I want you just to take a look at the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire and you can see that the activity is completely all the way around minus the two gaps down here by the South Pole they've spread out into the waters and Alaska uh, or not Alaska I'm sorry Hawaii has now moved into the 4.0 range remember they were stuck in the 3.0 and below range uh, for quite a while and now they have moved indeed into the 4.0 range which we'll take a look at that here uh, when we don't have so many numbers on here um, points of interest uh, basically Central America uh, has the potential over the next year of time here the next year to have a significantly big earthquake just a heads up on it uh, don't worry over it don't don't stress over it don't fear over it there's no point in all that guys just understand that it has the potential for a serious size earthquake to strike when I don't know but it has that potential because of all the pressure that's building in that general area same with the Aleutian Island area okay so just kind of a heads up there just you know again don't worry about it don't fear over it that's not what this video is about it's just to give you a heads up to, to make you alert so that you're paying attention so that you're prepared and have plans ready to go in case you need to initiate them but as you can see uh, the entire Pacific Green has lit up minus the two gaps they'll eventually fill in and everywhere else is basically completely filled in uh, minus the southern part of the, the planet here including Australia which will eventually begin to show up earth, uh, show earthquakes here eventually as time moves forward also up here in the north you're not getting too much activity up here in the Russian area uh, but again keep your eyes on it as time moves forward it will begin to fill in and around the North Pole and South Pole the activity has uh, significantly spread into the waters at this point over here on the other side of the planet as you can see right here it has now pretty much covered all of the waters in that area now there's not a lot of activity going on in that area and that's okay and that's good we don't want a lot of activity but eventually sooner or later it's going to look like the rest of the map I mean it's just the normal everyday pattern as, as, once this got started basically everything got set in motion after the Japan earthquake yes there was activity before that yes there were things going on before that but not to the magnitude and to the sheer number that we have today not by any means not even close this has literally spread throughout the entirety of the planet and um, we're starting to actually pick them up in Africa as I've mentioned already uh, it's just beginning to get started in the African area but eventually it will spread throughout Africa just as it has everywhere else so there's your update what I'm going to do at this point and you, this thing has gone on around here as soon as it gets back to the US I'm going to take the ones and the twos and the threes completely out okay so all we'll show is fours and above and we'll look at it uh, basically across the planet let's try to get this thing to speed up a little bit but as you can see it's filled in all the waters in this area the uh, the uh, uh, Atlantic Ridge here is starting to, to fill in more and more as, as time moves forward okay what when scripture says something's going to happen it is going to happen okay his word will stand even if the heavens and the earth are removed or disappear or perish or whatever okay his word's still going to stand so there there's your activity we're coming back around to the United States and as it does that I'm going to go ahead and leave it where you can see that and move this on up to four point Oh, and bigger now we're going to spin a lot faster because there's not going to be so much activity but uh, let me verify that I've got only 4.0 and bigger here right there 4.0 and bigger 
So 4.0 is not a huge earthquake or anything massive. It does a little bit of damage if you happen to be at the epicenter area or if a building happens to be in that area or whatever. 4.0 is not too significant. 5.0 is getting a little bit significant. It does a little bit more damage. And then when you hit the 6.0 range, you're getting into a fairly significant damage. So looking at 4.0 and bigger, this is what your planet uh, is looking like. As you can see, the gaps from Canada got a gap throughout the ocean here and you got a gap through the Russian area here. On the southern pole, basically the same concept. Uh, the south is, is the, the actual Antarctica is, is without earthquakes and a gap all the way around it and then you get earthquakes pretty much in a ring around that. Okay, let's let this spin around and you can see that the bulk of the activity is still in the X that I've talked about many times basically where everything got started Japan and started spreading throughout the planet and as you can see even with significant size uh, 4.0 and above we still have the ocean spilling in not significant 5.0 is not significant it's it's pretty impressive but it's not significant it's not massive by any means that's what it looks like okay now we're gonna go ahead and move it up to 4.6 and bigger all we want is a 4.6 showing and bigger and which still is not anything huge but it still gives you a basic concept of where the ma the 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 the, 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 the uh, heavier activity is taking place this is where we lose Hawaii now let's back this back down you can see Hawaii is now in the 4.0 range okay for those of you that have been following along uh, Hawaii, as you know, has been stuck in the one, z negative magnitude earthquakes, the zero magnitude earthquakes, the one magnitude earthquakes, the two magnitude earthquakes, and was getting three magnitude earthquakes occasionally off and on. Now they've bumped up into the fours. Now they're getting closer and closer to that 5.0 range where when it hits the 5.0 range, that's when you can get the spikes up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten magnitude earthquakes. But they have now moved into the 4.0 range. Doesn't mean they're going to get a 4.0 magnitude earthquake every single day. That's not the case, guys. Once it moves up a range, it'll fall back, and occasionally it'll hit back into the original range. Like, like for instance, Hawaii has popped up into the 4 range. What they're going to still get is, is their normal 0, 1s, and 2s, and their occasional 3s. But now they're going to be going to get their occasional 4s until they bump into the 5.0 range. And then the threes will be a lot more uh, frequent, and the fours will be a lot more frequent, and they'll be getting their spikes like everybody else. Okay, so 4.6 and above. Uh, let's go back to 4.6 and above. Okay, 4.6 and above, and that's what the planet looks like. Okay, you guys can do this. Earthquake 3D is free. You can go download the software. It's free and you can you can observe these things yourself okay now we're gonna go ahead and move into the 5.0 range and above and that'll significantly drop everything and as you can see this is a a hazard area I mean it has holds a lot of potential for a, a significant snap it's a, lots of 5.0s and remember when you hit the 5.0 you can have major spikes another area of activity is the Aleutian Islands now of course Japan Indonesia Fiji, you know, all New Zealand, all this area, it's always under the threat of a of a 6.4 or above. Once we come out of this, remember the pattern is it falls down into the low fives and below, and it maintains that for up to two weeks, and then uh, within that two week period of time, you go back into the 6.0 range or above. Okay, 6.4 or above. It's, it's the same pattern over and over and over again for about the last year and a half. And in the last seven months, you've got at least one 6.0, but usually multiple. And upwards, as, as we've seen as many as eight of them in a row, 6.4 or above. Just boom, 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 boom. So there's your activity, guys. 5.0 and, and above for the last basically eight, nine days. That's what she looks like and she has significantly spread throughout the planet. Let's hit pause and let's take a look at something else. Okay, here we are on the video effect. Earthquakes only on one side. Uh, yeah, I put this out on April 12th, 2011. So just about 10 months ago or so. 
and as you can see on the back side of the globe this is set to zero magnitude and above in seven uh, the last seven days and uh, as you can see there is no activity whatsoever whereas today let's look at that today when we come back around here there's a significant change it has spread all throughout this side of the globe minus Africa but again Africa is getting 1.0's negatives zeros ones and twos and threes it's just not showing up because US don't USGS don't show it unless it is a 4.6 or above every once in a while they'll show a 4.1 and a 4.0 and a 4.2 if, if, if multiple people felt it and so forth and so on but as you can see the difference between that and this and I'm gonna hit play I'm gonna hit mute here and let this spin around as you can see guys there's nothing back in uh, over a year ago I mean this is video proof of it guys I mean you can go with the charts you can go with whatever you want to go with I'm showing you that a month ago I mean ten months ago it had not yet spread to this side of the planet and now just as it says diverse places or quote throughout that's what the word means throughout uh, uh, places and there will be great earthquakes right now we're in the 5.0 range and slowly shifting up into the 6.0 range and 6.0 are great earthquakes so are sevens and eights and nines but as you can see on this side of the planet there is little to no activity now let's go back and look on it one more time let me hit pause here after this rotates up but you can see no activity whatsoever not around the north pole not up in europe not anywhere in the waters nowhere let me hit pause okay now looking at this same shot here there's the North Pole and let's take this down just like in the other video 0, 0.0 and above and this is what you have one smack in the North Pole basically up and North Pole is actually up here but one right here and then you've got all of this it's spread throughout this entire region it's spread throughout this entire region and it is spread throughout this entire region I mean if you can't see guys that scripture is being fulfilled that the beginning of sorrows are well underway that we're no longer at the quote beginning of sorrows when you're gonna have earthquakes throughout and pestilence and famines and, and multiple things going on but we are well beyond the beginning and we're more like in the middle of it by now if you can't see that your eyes are wide shut that's exactly what's going on you need to get in the word read the word get the word in you and stay in that word because that's the only way you're gonna see father at work and at that point you cannot deny that father exists and that he predicted it all five thousand years ago which no man can pull off no man I don't care if you're the elite of this world or any other thing you did not know what technology was going to be available to man in the future you could not predict what would be coming in the future five thousand years in advance or four thousand or even three thousand or even two months in advance so there you guys have it this is the only way that I can show you the difference in activity I mean we're showing zero and seven days this you know same scale here that's on the other one zero and seven days and this is what your planet looks like okay there's that let's look at the other one there's that now let me show it just like it's showing here okay you've got all this activity that showed up all this activity that showed up and the sheer number up here on the other side of the planet has so significantly increased that it, there's no way to deny that it is spreading throughout the planet I mean you have to literally be completely and utterly blind not to see this a picture is worth five trillion words as far as I'm concerned doesn't matter what somebody shows you on a graph or what USGS claims or any other man says this is the actual proof that the scriptures are being fulfilled just as he said they would be to a T 
Okay, so here we are back on this. Let's hit play for a second. I've got it on mute. I'm, I, what I'm doing in this video is, uh, you know, everybody was talking about common element, and common element is causing all these problems, or some mysterious brown dwarf, and I'm telling everybody, it has nothing to do with common element, it has nothing to do with the brown dwarf, all of that is just hogwash and, and crap. You know, the word is being fulfilled. Uh, let me pop this forward. Okay, as you can see, there's the activity. Nothing. Okay, here's what the U.S. looked like. Okay, let me put it in that exact view. Okay, here's the view. I'm going to make Earthquake 3D today, 10 months later, the same. Let's take a look. And, and we're at uh, zero and about, oh, I don't know, a little bit ways down from the top there. So let's make it the same. Okay, zero and a little bit, uh, probably a little bit less than what's in the other video, but a little, little bit ways down from the top here. Okay, there's your activity. Unbelievable numbers here. Just, uh, I mean, mind-boggling compared to what it was 10 months ago. Let's take a look at 10 months ago again. Just a couple, a couple, one, two, three, and then about four of them right here, and that's about it on the on the show here. Going back to the other view, today's time and age. Just take a look. Okay, all these numbers, all these numbers, all these numbers, and you've got that group over there, and you've got this entire group that doesn't even exist in the, in ten months ago. Okay, let's hit play. Now it's look at the same view that I'm showing here and you've got four here one here one here one here one here and then a couple on the other side of the planet let's take a look okay a couple here a couple there all those all these on the other side of the planet all of these and you got these down here going back to the other video from ten months ago And back over here, let's see if there's any other other view here. Okay, let's look at it from this view. Basically, you've got North America here and Russia, Aleutian, Aleutian Islands, Russia, Japan. That's what we're looking at here. So you've got basically just across the northern hemisphere, and that's about it. Uh, one in Alaska, one in, in the U.S., and a couple over there, and a couple over there. Let's take a look at today. Okay, so basically here's your uh, equator, and there's a lot of activity in the southern hemisphere that wasn't there a year ago, and uh, of course you got all these activities uh, and, and higher magnitude earthquakes, just as scripture declared. Back over here, let me see if there's anything else. Okay, I don't know if I scroll out or not on this. I don't. Okay, but let's look at it from that perspective, okay? This is looking at almost about six and a half days in zero magnitude. And there's no activity down here. Uh, you've got a couple right here. You've got one over there, a bunch around Japan, a few, uh, a bunch, but a few around Alaska, then the U.S., and a couple over Hawaii. So let's take a look at today. <coughs> okay, so we've got zero. And we've got about six and a half, well, that's not really, right there is about six and a half. And as you can see, it's completely and utterly changed from a ten, from just ten months ago. Uh, I don't have any, quote, videos from over ten months ago because I didn't figure out that uh, about YouTube until about ten months ago. Uh, before then, it was all verbal in chat rooms and in blogs and in forums and in, in various uh, avenues that I that I that I was had available to me at the time until I learned how to make videos and to actually get video record of what's been taking place so from 10 months ago to the today this is the difference in your planet
Okay, now I'm going to back it back up to here where we're showing 0 and 7 and you can see the activity here and we'll, we'll, we'll jump it back and forth so you can see the difference here as well. Okay, I'm going to first of all get you a good look here. Okay, now I'm going to shrink this down so you can get a better view of all the numbers. It just doesn't compare. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up a little bit so that uh, you can kind of make sure you see that we're still in the same area here. This is Africa and Iran. I mean, uh, Saudi Arabia. And you can see the sheer numbers. I mean, they, they just go smooth off the screen. They're just, there's just so many of them. Just completely and utterly spreading and, and increasing and just it's just unbel it's just unbelievable I mean there's no other word for it I mean this is as far as I can rotate it guys right here and there's so many of them you can't even see the numbers it's just ridiculous take off the rings I mean there you go guys it's just it's ridiculous I mean your eyes literally have to be completely wide shut to not realize that everything scripture said was going to be happening is happening and he said it would all happen in one generation only not the generations before neither any of the generations after so let me roll this back up one more time as quickly as it'll let me so we're looking at the same view as the other video from 10 months ago put the rings back on because the rings are on in that video and we're looking at the same view there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit this to full screen, since the other program is full screen, so that is fair. Modern time, today, in February of 2012. Okay guys, I've done everything in my power and in my ability to show you that yes, there is a significant increase. No matter what people tell you, you're seeing it. Okay, they can put all the graphs that they want to put together, they can put them together. It's all hearsay. I took the video footage from 10 months ago and from today and I have showed you visually that there is a significant increase and this has been going on for the last two years it all started basically around Japan but before Japan is when it all got initiated that's when it all began but after Japan it started to spread absolutely everywhere across the planet exactly the way the word said it would happen okay plus the famines have showed up plus the flooding has showed up plus the droughts have showed up plus the trumpets plus everything guys is all coming to pass right here right now we've got animal die-offs fish die-offs we've got amazing things going on we've got volcanoes erupting and sending plumes up into the atmosphere and out into space we've got incredible incredible things going on every detail of what the word said would be happening in that last and final generation before the antichrist shows up to deceive all and then the real messiah the antichrist being a false messiah acting as the messiah then the real messiah shows up okay this is the uh, order of events all these things that you're seeing here and throughout all the other news information channels out there such as the animal die-offs, the bird die-offs, the mud volcanoes, the uh, submarine volcanoes, the landslides, the sinkholes, the uh, earthquakes, the uh, meteorites impacting the earth, the signs and the wonders in the heavens, the sun doing amazing things and all these things w w were to take place in one generation only all of it and that's what we have going on today now I've done my best to show it to you visually so that you cannot be deceived by false graphs and, and man-made crap when when 
you have it right here in front of your face right before your eyeballs and this is today okay I love you guys man get in the word stay in the word and get the word in you guys and you'll know what's going to happen. You won't be deceived. You won't marry the Antichrist or the one who comes in the place of Christ and takes his place and claims to be the Christ and the God among man. Okay? He comes first, guys. It is the fifth seal and the fifth trumpet, the fifth vial, the fifth everything. I mean, the, I mean, sorry. The sixth. The sixth seal, the sixth trumpet, and the sixth vial. 666. Okay, and then 777 is the true Messiah coming back. And everybody that bowed and married the Antichrist, the false Messiah, is going to look up and see him returning and realize, oops, I just screwed up. It's all happening, guys. Exactly the way scripture says. Now, I love you guys, and I'll talk with you guys soon. And I pray that peace be with you all. Heads up, there's a big quake coming. 6.4 or better, and probably multiple ones. This pattern has held true, guys, 5.0 and below, for well past 72 hours now. Okay, guys, so there you have it. There's the difference between just 10 months ago, it's not even a year ago, and today. If you cannot see it, I don't know what to do for you. I mean, you if you literally, if you cannot see that, that, that the beginning of sorrows are beyond well underway, I, th there's... There's literally no hope for you. All I can do is hope that one day you, you snap out of the lies and deceptions you're caught up in. Because it's all crystal clear. Truth will always prevail. And truth is only in the Word. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among men. And He said, as a man, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. So if you want the truth, guys, there's only one place you're going to get it, and that's in the scriptures. You're not going to get it from me, and you're not going to get it from any other man, woman, or child, or any entity or corporation or any other thing. You're not going to get it from your pastors, preachers, friends, relatives, nobody. Nobody on YouTube and nowhere else. All you're going to get from all these people is fear-mongering, lies and deceptions, and crap. Literally crap. Dung, as Paul puts it. The only place you can go to get the truth is the Word in the scriptures you got to get in the word stay in the word and get the word in you the word must be conceived in you and the spirit of truth must come and dwell with you to guide you into all truth he speaks to you he'll teach you he'll show you everything that you never knew behold all things have become new all the lies all the deceptions rotting away falling off of you when the spirit of truth is there to show you and to guide you and to help you, to comfort you, and to be with you through all the things that are coming upon the earth that if you are counted worthy to stand before the Son of Man after the Antichrist and after all the, the, the tribulations and events and the Antichrist and then Messiah comes back. Peace be with you all. Talk with you soon.